Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, today is Sunday, April 11th, and it's 10.08 a.m. I wanted to report to you something that, <laughs> believe it or not, has come from Fox News. Uh, it's titled, Canada Sending People to Government Facilities. That's government facilities. Um, let me pull this down. Tucker. Well, it's actually, that's, that's the Fox News label up there. But down here it says, Tucker, you know Tucker Carlson? It says, Tucker, Canada sending COVID positive travelers to internment facilities. All right. 2.1,000 gave it a thumbs down. Hmm. I wonder if that means they don't believe him. Listen to, I'm just going to play a little bit of it uh, starting uh, 2 minutes, 35 seconds into it. Just take a, little, a listen for a couple minutes. Would face a million dollar fine and three years in prison. This. Yeah, that's if they try to avoid going, like run away or drive away or whatever, and they get caught. A million dollar fine? Over COVID? Just how serious is this? You better start taking it serious if you haven't. All right, listen to this Justin Trudeau. He's a joke. It says, no joking matter. This is Justin Trudeau's Canada. Yeah, okay, listen. Is Justin Trudeau's Canada? He, he's dressed like an idiot. I'm sorry if that offends you, but he is. What is up with this guy? It's supposedly all about uh, accepting different different differences in people. Uh, anyway, I'm taking his picture right there. All right, go. It's funny. Trudeau always seemed like a cheerful idiot, wearing weird costumes and yammering on about diversity. Who knew he was Mussolini? There might be a lesson here for other nations that are led by shallow, neoliberal, empty suits. Know any? Underneath all the chirpy identity politics talk, it's not a joke. It's internment cells. In Canada, where everything has a euphemism, those cells are referred to as approved quarantine hotels. What are they like? Well, as noted, they're internment cells. What do you think they're like? There are shortages of food and water. You could be sexually assaulted as you're held in one. Listen to a member of the Canadian Parliament explain what they're like. The Liberals instituted a federal hotel quarantine requirement for those entering Canada. We have heard reports that it is taking hours to get through to book these hotels, dietary restrictions are not being met, and food and water is not always readily available. That's in addition to this program continuing after reports of sexual assault. This is mind-boggling. Oh, the Liberals did this. Okay, on top of that, it's talking about how she said the lack of food and water. I believe, I believe she said that. Anyway, that's in here. A diabetic man was made to go to one of these. He was put into a, a black SUV with darkened windows. He didn't know where he was going. He kept asking, where are we going? What is going on? He thought he was being punked. You know, a joke played on him. He gets there. It's like a hotel. They don't have locks on their doors, so they can't lock yourself in. They, so people can come in on them. That's how come some are getting assaulted, sexually assaulted. That is so wrong. How can they let this happen? I mean, this is Canada, for crying out loud. But anyway, this Mr. Trudeau doesn't want any more COVID in his country, so he's going to stop it at the borders. And this man that was a diabetic, did, they didn't have any food or water ready for him. Maybe water. I mean, I would think there'd be bathrooms with sinks, but... <coughs> Some people want a little ice with their water. But anyway, uh, I digress. The point is, they didn't feed him for over 24 hours. I wonder what that did to his blood sugar. 
hopefully he knew not to take his medicine if he didn't get any food. Okay, I'm going to end this here. That's enough about this. And you can watch the rest if you just click on the link in the description box. If you cannot find your description box, just leave me a comment and I'll be glad to put it under your comment. Okay? Or I'll put it, pin it to the top. Okay. With that, I'll say bye for now. God bless each and every one of you. I'll talk to you again soon.